welcome to Liveflow for Excel. We're going to quickly see how we can make a reporting package for our clients and scale it across all of our clients using Liveflow. I'm going to first get started. So I open Liveflow and then I'm going to make a basic reporting package. So I have my profit and loss for this year and I'm displaying columns by month and I just hit create report and there we go. Now I also want to add a balance sheet. So I'm going to do the same thing and I want to display my columns by month. And while that's being created, I'm also going to line up my cash flow statement by month. And there you go. We have a lot of report options, of course, that we can create for our clients. So let's say I'm just going to add a really quick one. Let's go with sales by customer. So again, I want to display my columns by month. I hit create report. not too many customers for my company <laughs> but this is how i would create this and now what i can do is i'm just moving this back i can then go to any of my reports and then you can see these little blue links so if i click on them they're going to take me to intuit quickbooks where i can actually see my transactions but let's say i don't want to do that and i'm presenting this to a client so i can just come to my drill down tab and Liveflow will automatically show you exactly how that number has come to be and you can just change whichever cell you're looking at and it will update real time. So it's a super cool feature. Now let's say I've created my report but I actually only want to look at it for a specific class. In this case I can just go ahead, come to manage reports over here in the corner and I can just go ahead and add a filter and I want to do I want to only look at the class let's say in New York and I can select as many as I need but I'm just going to take one for now so class New York selected I hit update report and you can see my report has entirely updated and I can do the same for all of my uh, other reports as well with my balance sheet and cash flow Plus, let's say for my reporting package, I want to also add a cross margin row. And I'm going to do this. Okay. Let me just highlight this. So when I present this to my client, this is front and center. Now, Let's say I wanted to, instead of New York, I wanted to actually just swap this and show maybe Amazon. So I can do this over here. I hit update report. You can see my gross margin row still stays exactly where it is. Of course, some div zero errors because there's no sales there. And uh, I can also add another report over here. Where, uh, let me, with a budget versus actuals so I have my budgets lined up in QuickBooks so I can just select one of those and I may make this a dynamic this year and I hit create report and there you go you can see I also have a budget versus actuals completely ready-made launched in my sheet and I'm just going to take all of my reports now and say I want to then present this to a client. So this is for client, I can make this like this here. And then I can make a copy of this and then go to Liveflow, come to manage reports and I can quickly swap my company to change this for any other client that I need. So we're going to give it a minute. And yeah, 20 seconds, that's all it took. And now I have a completely new profit and loss with my gross margin still intact. Of course, there's no data in this company, of course, but we have all of my numbers updating over here and it's all for the new company. 
so yeah we have many new features that you can use and if you hit this auto refresh button then this data will always update automatically so every time i open the sheet this document will always have the latest data i don't have to do anything on my own so yeah this is the new product i hope you enjoy it and if you would like to get this product then please click this link and we will book a call with you where we can explore how you can unlock access to Lightflow for Excel. Thank you.